You got more questions, Tim? I got. I still got. Go more ahead. Fire away. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> Just like quick stuff that I, I think you can answer. So, like from a remote perspective, like uh, a, a remote female perspective, however you want to take it. Like, how do you decide what attire to wear? Attire, like clothes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, because, you know, I'm a jeans and a black T-shirt kind of guy. I haven't worn yeah. jeans in a long time. I don't know why I even say that. Yeah. But yeah. like, you know, like I show up, I'm always wearing kind of like the same thing. Like yeah. as this, is there any kind of like, do, do you think about what you're going to wear? Do you care? Like, how, how does that whole thing get into it? Because I think a lot of females are like, oh, I need to dress this way. And you're you're rocking, I don't know, some sort of cool T-shirt and, and, a, and a jacket. Because I am woman, hear me roar. So there you go. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's an interesting question. I don't think I've ever, ever been asked that one. So I can tell you, though, over the past five years, I have become like a minimalist. Like just I need to know like there's five shirts for the week and five types of pants. Leggings have been, you know, most often because you can't see down. Although I don't have I put on jeans today for this interview. So you're welcome. Um, my only go is like, you know, still look professional. And that looks that is different to different people. I don't, as you can tell by my hair, don't spend a lot of time on my hair. Like it's to me, an, an hour of working on hair. I can be spending with the kids in the morning before I know that I'm gonna have to work all day. So kind of, I have consciously thought about those things like routine wise, um, but still looking professional, right? Like, well, I mean, just doing your hair and make you a couple million dollars more. <laughs> Does not doing my hair make me uh, a couple of Did you know that Matthew McConaughey was going bald at one point? Uh, I learned that in his book, Headlights, Red Lights. If, if somebody's going to invest in me Green off lights. of my hair, Green then lights. those are definitely not the funds or people that I'm going to be working with. So I, pre I appreciate that. Not worried like, about that. <laughs> just general communication skills online. What, what are the top maybe two or three tips that you would give people on how to I don't, I don't, I don't like the word professional because I think it's a BS metric, but how to be a little bit more uh, aware or in the moment on online for something like this as, as things continue. Taken seriously. Yeah. Um, I actually have a book sitting right here next to me. I won't show it because I don't know like promo. I don't even know who this, you know, the author, but it's called digital body language, how to build trust and connect no matter the distance, those types of things. Like you've got to like understand that communication, body language, is, is very different in a remote, like just use it, like, you know, blocking your camera. Like, Hi. what do people think about you? Like, you're just being antisocial. You didn't get ready for the day. You're in a, a weird location. Like your brain is going to try to figure out the black hole. Right. And so like, you're taking away from other people, hmm. um, listening to your words or focusing on a meeting. Um, the caveat to that is the zoom burnout is real. Like when you are just back to back all day and your brain is just boom, 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 boom. Um, Sometimes you need to turn your camera off. And so sometimes with like the, the type of meeting, like if it's just a, a quick sync, you know, do a phone call, use Slack, like use more async things versus getting on Zoom. So, so consciously be thinking like, okay, like if I yeah. could have this Zoom meeting like this, and then I can have a, make this an email instead, make this a phone call. Yeah. yeah interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the, with, I mean, I would rather talk to a black screen though, than when I prepared something to, to provide a, a presentation or a speech. And then I see the whole audience, they're doing this talking on the phone and I know they're not paying any bit of attention yeah. to what I'm saying. I mean, that just drives me crazy because I yeah. put my time and effort into oh, what, what was that? Oh, I'm large sorry. Pepperoni that, pizza? Something? Yeah. Large, large pepperoni pizza. Um, <laughs> and, um, the cheesy yeah. breadsticks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. I think some of the things we try to teach our team is also like written when you're reading something written, you're interpreting it in your own head, right? So tone, intent, like I, we, we could write a sentence and read it in five different ways. And depending on how you read it out loud, it's going to dramatically maybe, change the next step you take. <laughs> that's so good. Cause you might be trying to just be like uh, TLDR, right? Too long, didn't read. Like just make it a super, like a headline when this person's like, who is this donkey writing this thing like this? Like th this is too, too specific, like too, too. Yeah. yeah I, I'm totally with yeah. it. Got a, uh,